Today, I'm going to reveal to you a shocking truth that will change your life forever. You are God. I'm not saying this in a metaphorical or spiritual sense. I'm saying this in a literal and factual sense. You are God, and you have the power to create anything you want in life with the power of your mind. Neville Goddard, a visionary philosopher, dared to unveil the profound power of assumption, revealing how by consistently believing we already possess our desires, we can orchestrate the events of our lives. While Neville Goddard's teachings on the law of assumption are often associated with the law of attraction, he actually saw them as two distinct concepts. He believed that the law of attraction, which states that we attract what we focus on, was an incomplete understanding of the power of our minds. According to Goddard, it's not enough to simply focus on positive thoughts and affirmations. We must also change our deep-seated assumptions about ourselves and our reality. This is where the law of assumption comes in. According to Neville Goddard, the law of assumption is the only law that governs the manifestation of your desires. He said that the law of attraction is secondary and that it only works when it is aligned with the law of assumption. He said that the law of attraction is the effect and the law of assumption is the cause. But how do you assume that you already have your desire when your current reality seems to contradict it? Keep on watching because I'm about to reveal the secret of how to actually do that. First, I'm going to show you how the Law of Assumption works. The Law of Assumption works by using the power of your imagination and your feeling to impress your subconscious mind with your new reality. Your subconscious mind is the creative power that manifests everything in your life according to your dominant beliefs and assumptions. Your subconscious mind does not reason, judge, or question. It simply accepts whatever you impress upon it as true and reflects it back to you in your outer world. Therefore, if you want to change your outer world, you have to change your inner world. And the way to do that is to assume the feeling of your wish being fulfilled. To assume the feeling of your wish being fulfilled, you have to imagine that you already have your desire and feel the emotions that come with it. You have to act as if it is already done, not as if it is going to be done. You have to live in the end, not in the means. Jim Carrey, a famous actor and comedian, did exactly this. When he was struggling to make a name for himself in Hollywood, wrote himself a check for $10 million and dated it Thanksgiving 1995. He carried the check in his wallet and looked at it every day imagining that he had already received it for his acting services. He acted as if he was already a successful and wealthy actor and lived in the end result of his desire. In 1994, he got his breakthrough role in the movie Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, which was a huge hit and launched his career. In 1995, he was offered $10 million to star in the movie Dumb and Dumber, which was released in December of that year. He achieved his goal of earning $10 million by Thanksgiving 1995, just as he had written on his check. By following examples like this, you create a new state of consciousness, a new vibration, a new reality. And by the law of assumption, your new reality must manifest in your physical world because it is already true in your consciousness. To make this easier for you, here are three simple steps that you can follow to apply the law of assumption and manifest your desire fast. The first step is to choose your desire. What do you want to manifest? Carefully select your deepest desire. What is it that you yearn to bring into manifestation? The possibilities are boundless, whether it's a salary increase, an upgraded living space, finding at last your true love, overcoming health challenges, unlocking new levels of success and happiness, or just anything else that your desire, it can become yours. The only limit is your imagination. But make sure that your desire is something that you really want, not something you think you should want or something that others want for you. Your desire should be something that makes you feel excited, passionate, and joyful. 
Once you have chosen your desire, write it down in a clear and positive way. For example, if you want to manifest more money, you can write something like, I am wealthy and abundant. I have more than enough money to live the life of my dreams. Or if you want to manifest a loving relationship, you can write something like, I am in a happy and harmonious relationship with my soulmate. We love and respect each other deeply. The second step is to assume the feeling of your wish being fulfilled. This is the most important and powerful step because it's the one that activates the law of assumption and impresses your subconscious mind with your new reality. To assume the feeling of your wish being fulfilled, you have to imagine that you already have your desire and feel the emotions that come with it. There are many ways to do this, but one of the most effective ones is to use a technique called the I remember when method. This technique was also taught by Neville Goddard, and it consists of remembering a time when you didn't have your desire and contrasting it with the present moment when you do have it. For example, if you want to manifest more money, you can say to yourself, I remember when I was struggling to pay my bills, and now I have more than enough money to live the life of my dreams. Or, if you want to manifest a loving relationship, you can say to yourself, I remember when I was lonely and single, and now I'm in a happy and harmonious relationship with my soulmate. The key is to say these statements with conviction and feeling as if they were true right now. Don't say them as a wish or a hope, but as a fact. Feel the gratitude, the joy, the relief, the confidence, the love that comes with having your desire. Feel it in your body, in your heart, in your soul. Feel it as if it were real, because it is real. You are creating it with your imagination and your feelings. The third and final step is to persist in your assumption. This means you have to maintain the feeling of your wish being fulfilled and act as if you already have your desire until it manifests in your physical reality. Don't let doubt, fear, or negative thoughts interfere with your assumption. Don't look for signs, evidence, or validation from the outside. Don't worry about how, when, or where your desire will manifest. Just trust that it will, because it has to. The law of assumption is a law, not a theory. It works for everyone all the time, without exception. Whatever you assume to be true, with conviction and feeling, will become true and your reality. It's as simple as that. But you have to be consistent and persistent in your assumption. You have to live from the end and not from the middle. You have to act as if you already have your desire and not as if you're waiting for it. This may seem challenging at first, especially if your current reality seems to contradict your desire. But remember, your current reality is only a reflection of your past assumptions. It has nothing to do with your present or future assumptions. You can change your reality by changing your assumptions, and you can do it right now by following the three simple steps we just talked about. To make this even more effective and powerful, keep the following in mind. Ignore your current reality. Don't let the external circumstances or evidence contradict your assumption. Remember that your imagination is the only true reality and that your current situation is only a reflection of your past thoughts. Focus on your desired state and act as if it is already yours. Say yes to everything. Don't argue with or resist anything that happens in your life. Instead, accept everything as a part of your manifestation process. Say yes to whatever comes your way and trust that it is leading you to your desired outcome. Always return to your assumption. Whenever you feel doubtful or fearful, remind yourself of your assumption and the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Repeat your affirmations, visualize your desired scene, or listen to subliminal messages that support your assumption. Don't let negative emotions take over your mind. Proclaim affirmations. Affirmations are positive statements that you repeat to yourself to reinforce your belief and confidence. You can use affirmations to overcome your doubts and fears and to affirm your desired state. 
For example, you can say, I am confident and fearless. I am worthy and deserving of my desire, or I am living my wish fulfilled. Embrace your fears and doubts. Sometimes the best way to overcome your fears and doubts is to face them head on. Instead of avoiding or suppressing them, acknowledge them and let them go. You can do this by writing them down, talking to someone, or doing a meditation or a clearing process. By releasing your fears and doubts, you can make room for more positive and empowering thoughts. If you follow these guidelines, you will realize your dreams, choose your desire, assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled, and persist in your assumption. Watch as your life transforms before your eyes. You are the creator of your reality, and you can create anything you want with the power of your mind. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to like and subscribe to get notified about more content like this.